Oh, hey, oh, that's painful. <laughs> And welcome to GT Not Live, where today we're ready for the delicious last course. I don't know, it was bad. It's it's playing in the background, and so it got stuck in my head, and I couldn't come up with a good way of doing it. We are coming in for more Cuphead. So I know I'm a little late on the game of this one, but the the thing is, I was in London, and Cuphead had the new DLC launch, and. I don't know if you know this about me, I don't know if you've been with the channel this long, but man, Cuphead was my jam! I 100% completed Cuphead on like the hardest, on expert mode, got like the gold cup and everything, because this is like my sort of game. Like I love the aesthetics of the old cartoon animations, I love the difficult platformers where you die a bunch of times and get really mad at yourself and frustrated and you want to throw the controller, but you decide you can't throw the controller because replacing it's going to cost too much money and you're like, I can't afford to do that. And so, and so instead you like pound on your leg, but that's also bad because you're like, no, I shouldn't do that to myself. So I pound on the couch, that sort of thing. Uh, r r rage Pat. Um, but just stuff that like encourages precision and perseverance and determination. I've been waiting long enough. Let's hop into it. We can no. we can talk. We can talk. Trust me, Ash. I'll need you to talk because I'll be like okay. in the weeds, dying a bunch. Okay. So, like I said, I'm, I'm starting fresh. Uh, do you know how to? Is the DLC just automatically unlocked? So you have to go and go through the first mausoleum. Okay. And once you unlock that, there'll be a little fairy man, and he'll be like, "What's up, Matthew Patrick? Yeah. Let's go." All right. So I'm 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 gonna play as Cuphead. Okay. Just for posterity's sake. Okay. The biggest. Okay. We don't need to see the story. I've done the story. I know the story. Uh oh. But I I could use a good warm up, warm up by doing the hardest tutorial. <laughs> Of all time, here we go. Let's do that. Let's do the impossible tutorial, shall we? Just to refresh myself on all the controls. Okay, the tutorial. Duck. <sighs> okay, got it. Jump. Great. Uh oh. Uh oh. How do you do this? How do you do this? Hold it, Matt. Oh no! Oh, Hold this it. is so hard. This is too hard. Oh, this game is so hard. What do I do? Do you know what? I, did you see all that when that happened? That whole thing. Huh? There was a game reviewer. Th th that's why it became a meme. There was a game reviewer who said like the tutorial was impossible, oh my God. and and got like ripped to shreds because he couldn't make this jump. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> was, wasn't great. Get good, buckaroo. Right. And so everyone's like, "How is this guy a game reviewer when he can't do it?" Anyway, okay. I I, I have no friends, so I'm not gonna resurrect anyone. Oh yeah, B move is your charge. Okay, collect coins. Yep. All right, great. I remember most of this. And since I'll, I'll have a couple, I guess, warm up bosses to get out to um, the mausoleum then. So that'll be good to kind of refresh myself on all this. Uh, yeah, did you play Cuphead, Ash? I did. Um, I wasn't very good at it at the start, but I would play with sibling, and I also play with my physicist friend. Uh huh. Um, and you know, we a little bit lose our minds, but at the end, we come out stronger as a duo. Yeah. And I think that's important. That is important. Yeah. That's great. That's, be that's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing you got there. Okay, this would be a good warm up. I should also probably get like the, the utensils and all that. You know, I'm like collect a couple coins and get like some good. Okay, I gotta get three parries. Ah, should have waited for this third one. Remember how many parries you have to get? Oh yeah, I mean, I like I said, I I played this pretty heavily, and so yeah, I need to get a certain amount of. Oh shoot, I already got hit. That was bad. There's a it's here. It's here. There we go. So that's three parries, but I, I'm not gonna get a perfect because I got hit, unfortunately. But you have to, yeah, you have to do a certain amount of damage with your super moves. You have to do, uh, what else? You have to get a certain amount of parries. You can't get hit, all that good stuff. Oh yeah, okay, now I remember. Yep, because he does this, okay. We're warming up. This will be good, we're getting into the zone again. 
there. He has very stretchy skin on his on his forehead. The carrot? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Look at is that. the, is the carrot that. skin pretty? He he emotes he emotes well. He, does, he certainly emotes well. Okay. Like, so, I have very stretchy skin, but that's... I have never seen that before. Yeah, see, if I had gotten perfect HP there, skill level 22, and then, yeah. A minus. It'll be... It's okay. It's not... It's not great, but I'll take it. Um... Oh, my God. What? Overachiever, Matt? Being bad? A little bit. Sorry. It's okay. I, it's I, just... It's, it's giving, like... You did a math test and you maybe scored like a 92. Ooh, that's, that's, on a, that's unacceptable. Two. Okay, he's gonna block these guys. Okay, I need one more parry. Oh, shoot. I really like the dance happening in the background. Like, oh, it's, it's not exactly a kick line, it's just like. Two pals. They're just doing their swinging, man. Feet unite and then feet separate. And I think toes, that's beautiful. Toes tapping, having a grand old time, you know? Yeah. Just some friends at the old shindig. How, how realistic is this, do you think, to like this era of entertainment? You know? Like, do you think people did this on their own? Because media always portrays it this way. But do you think like... I hate when the media portrays frogs fighting in my good 1930s <laughs> <laughs> Right in the 1940s, frogs were everywhere. Ugh. All those flies were tapping their toes. Yep. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. What were they doing? What are they up to? Ah, oh, shoot. I right, see. That's why you don't use super moves. You just, you just survive. Just focus on survival. That's, that's when you get... And you overreach. There you, go, there you go. Those don't count as parries, do they? They don't. This is the necessities. There we go. Yeah, this is. Thanks everyone for bearing with me while I warm up in the game. We'll get there. Because I think to get, to get to the mausoleum, what you have to be this guy, and then like maybe like one other. So here's my question. Shoot, shoot. Oh, that was bad. I had a joke. He was dead too. What? What's up? So the flies are cheering in the background. Yes. And that's great. Uh-huh. Um, who nice. are it's they a, rooting for? It's a great, it's, 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 it's a great, it's a great question. If they root for the frogs, I find that to be very counterintuitive. Right. Oh, certain, right? It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. And that's, like, they're all just completely calm. They're actually really excited. So maybe maybe are they're they just for us, or do they just love violence? I was gonna say maybe yeah, maybe they're just in for a good brawl, you know? Because I have had plenty of an experience, you know, with violent flies myself. I, I do. You you've had a lot of experience with violent flies so, in, this, in this in this very room. In this very room. So this scene with that logic would not surprise me. But if this takes place in the past, then I want to know how long have flies been this way. Oh, fl flies have always chosen violence. Let's be honest. They they always prefer violence. They always are like, yes, please give me more blood. I I want I want more of this blood sport. You think Alexander the Great was like conquering stuff, and then the flies were just like that was what made him angry? Yeah, no, it's it's true that he was doing it because the flies were egging him on. Yeah. Let's be honest here. Absolutely. Like it was city state after city state, <laughs> but those flies. Right, that that was it. That's that's mm -hmm. what pushed him over the edge. It's true. It wasn't, you know, a need for more wealth or resources. It was because I have these flies and they're giving me a hard time and I don't like it. Yeah. They are being mean to me and I will have none of that. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So no no thanks. Wham bam, no thank you, man. He had to recruit them. The flies? Yeah. I think that was his true motivation that was, here. That was. Because if he swatted one more gosh dang fly, he was gonna lose it. Uh, I got too greedy again. I should've just waited. Uh, right? He's like, well, if I conquer enough city-states, then at least the flies will respect me. Yeah. That's that, That's all, all the great- Caesar, same thing. Right. All of right. them. All about the flies. Maybe that's, that's the issue, Ash. That's what you need to do. 
to, to win over the fruit flies in this very room. I need to conquer You need to show, you need a show of strength. You need a city state to fall to your will. Oh man. Right? If you could do that. Oh, I missed the time by three seconds, unfortunately. I'll take the end. It's okay. It's okay. I know you're judging me, Ash. Take the egg. I'll take it. All right, there's muslin. Piece of cake. Um, like I said, I'm not 100% sure. I should probably get more coins to upload my weapons, but you know what? We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna go straight forward. I wanna get to the DLC as fast as possible. These good people are waiting. You know. And right, and, and in the DLC, right, you can play as Miss Chalice, right? Lady Chalice? It might be Miss Chalice. No, no, I think, I, is it late? I don't, I am not sure. How did I forget? It's all right. There's a lot, you know, there's a lot to keep track of in modern society. And we have Google working as our collective memory. Boop. 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 He's gone for a long time, though. There we go. Yeah, it's Miss Chalice. Is I it? just like oh. to think of her as a little lady. She is. <laughs> hey, hey, little lady. <laughs> oh, teeny guy. Teeny grumps. There we go. And pop. There we go. Perfect. All right. So now let's oh. let's let's get this going, shall we? What? Rule thirty-four has already taken its hold on Miss Chalice. <laughs> But yeah, I'm oh, sure. God. Oh, no. Do you need the bleach? I'll, I'll give you the, the eye bleach. It's okay. Oh, oh, Here you go. Oh, Careful with it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no worries. Careful. It stings a little bit. Gosh, I don't know how to thank you boys for saving me. Where are my manners? I didn't even introduce myself. I'm known as the Legendary Chalice. See, Legendary Chalice. Mm. I was searching for magic and got trapped by those ghosts. Speaking of magic, please accept this gift. Okay. Colors. Rainbow. Love it. See, I feel bad. I feel bad that we just destroyed that ancient mausoleum. Dear me, you mustn't forget that magical super art have to be equipped. Yep, okay. You know what? I don't want to equip that magical super art though. Thank you very much. I kind of like, like my existing super arts. Uh, Legendary Chalice, bid me to carry a message to you. She needs your help, a far off isle, a mysterious discovery. Okay, let's do it. Yay! We'll, we'll do it. And here's the thing, I recognize that I need to get a lot of coins. I need to get a lot of upgrades, probably, to help better my chances at surviving things. But I'm just going in as fast as I can into this. And if between this upload and the next upload, I need to grind a bit to get some of that stuff, I don't want you to have to suffer through that. So here we go. Is it just me? And, I, and again, like, We'll see as we play through this. The quality of the animation looks different, doesn't it, here? A little bit. Doesn't it? It looks more clean. Like, you look at the coloring of Cuphead and Mugman here. Their lines and their coloring feel more precise. And, like, here's the thing. I'm, I'm not a stickler for that sort of thing, but I do notice, like, aesthetically, it feels slightly different already. Uh, not that I'm looking for, for differences, but I'm just calling that out. What could Legendary Chalice be looking for all the way out here? Gosh, Cuphead, I don't know. I hope she's okay. We sure are far from home. Jumping jelly beans, you boys made it. I have the most amazing news. And it all has to do with this here cookie. Take a bite and see for yourselves. Yay! Oh! Oh! She be tricking him! Just a prank, Mugman, just a prank. It worked, it really worked, I'm alive again. But now I'm a ghost. Oh, Mugman getting no respect. What's going on here? Everything's gone topsy-turvy. Follow me, boys, I can explain everything. Poor Mugman, getting no love, no respect. Sometimes you just want to eat a cookie delivered to you by a spectral entity coming to you from an interdimensional portal. Is that so much to ask? For ages, I've been trying to find a way to escape that astral plane, but nothing worked. Till now, boys, let me introduce you to Chef Salt Baker, the greatest chef in all the lands. Welcome, friends. Welcome to my bakery. Ah, uh, Miss Chalice, I see my cookie has worked wonders on you. I don't trust this guy. Oh, my stars. I'm a ghost again. Oh, my finicky thing, that cookie. The taste is sweet, but the effect is brief. 
Fret not, though, my concerned little cups. I've come up with an amazing new recipe. One bite of this wonder tart and you'll have complete control over the astral plane. This wonder tart can bring Chalice back to life for good. No swap, oh, this wonder tart, I don't know who's talking at this, uh, whoever. No swapping places, <laughs> it's me, I'm talking. Indeed, just one problem, the recipe requires exceptional ingredients held by the most fearsome of foes. Well, if the wonder, well, if the wonder tart is what it takes to bring Chalice back to life, then by golly, we'll find those ingredients. I don't know. I think there's some shenanigans up. I don't trust Chalice or this guy. Stay on your guard, intrepid cups. Fetching those ingredients will be a test of wit and wills. But remember, like any good bake, heart and soul is the key ingredient. Anything else? Worry not, I'll keep perfecting this recipe while you're out and about. I just know you'll put yourself fully into bringing light wonder tart to life. Fable ingredients await, friends. Now where did I put the salt? It's in your head. Literally in your head. I, I guarantee though, uh, within five minutes of this playthrough, uh, there will be a lot of salt coming from me as well. One more thing, chaps. Remember to equip that nifty cookie charm in the menu if you want to play a battle as Ms. Chalice. Hmm. Gain access to her double jump, dash, parry, and invincible roll. Really? Okay, that's different. Recipe for Miss Chalice, okay. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's, she's really cute. Okay, ooh, she's got a lower, heavier jump? Parry dash, parry for flavor. Just a dash will do it. Double jump, add two jumps, big one, okay. Dodge roll down. Ooh, I don't know. This is, we'll see, we'll see. I'm assuming I got dad to roll through there. There we go. There we go. Hmm. That's, it's, it's a very different way of controlling. And the fact that you parry via a dodge, I don't know. I don't know if I like being locked into a dodge. We'll see. I'll, I'll try a little bit with her, but I'm so used to Cuphead. I, I mean, granted it's been years, right? But I'm so used to them. Act three, act three, Chef Salt Baker awarded the best baker in all the lands. Oh, you marks from around here? This aisle's full of tough nuts and your noodle arms ain't gonna wrench it. Why don't you come back after a few more tussles? In fact, have some cabbage on me. You look like you need it. Oh, I got some cabbage. The beautiful gold spinning cabbage. Wonderful. I love old timey talk for like money and things. Uh, okay, let's check it out. Where are we at? Here's the shop. An audience at last! The climbing contest medal ceremony is about to begin. Second place just ain't right. Down one place from last year. Anyone else have some cabbage? I could use some more cabbage. There's no way the others could have caught me. I left them in the dust. Third place. I guess things can only go up from here. Okay. Ooh, hello, mysterious ladder. Ooh, do I do it? I, I'm intrigued by the mysterious ladder. I want the mysterious ladder. King's Leap. Let's see. Ooh, hello. Hello. Oh, flying castle! Awesome! Oh, the graphics are so good. I love this. What, what do I? What do you need? What do you need from me? Hello. Hello, bud. Hail ye cops! I bid thee welcome to my floating palace. I am the one true king. The game of games. Oh, the king of games. Maybe I should read better. <laughs> the king of games. From afar, I have seen you battle with zeal and. I did two battles. I did one against frogs and I did one against a, a, a potato. I did great. <laughs> And lo, I grant thee a place in my royal tourney. In these bouts, your weapon and oh, your weapon and charms shan't be of use. You'll have to find different means to best my champions. N from victories, riches, for uh, now into the fray with haste. So these are kind of like the the more the new updated mausoleums, I guess. A great okay, so I'm her, and she. Oh, hello, oh, hello, hello, hello. Okay, so they got pink heads, so I got to dash into them. Okay, hit dash. Okay, that's not bad. Dash. Okay, there. There. Dash. Dash. Okay, whoop, watch out, watch out, watch out. Dash. And... This, where's that last guy? Last guy comes out and ain't kind of great. There we go. Easy. <laughs> Nailed it! Woo! Tourney of Champions. Okay, so her dash is, is cool, and I like the bit. I will say I like the d ability to double jump a lot. Double jump is very nice. You dispatch that champion in so few rounds, Brave Cups. Thy reward, wealth untold. <laughs> Two coins. I'll, I'll have you know, the newsie on the corner gave me three. 
you know, Mr. King. See, this is the problem. Trickle down economics right here is what we're witnessing. That is a problem. This is the failure of trickle down economics. Oh my God. <laughs> Further, when the newsboy on the corner gives me more for walking past him and talking to him than the king does for participating in his blood sport. Oh my God. Just saying, king. Oh, I'm gonna, it's like Squid Game, except it's like the cheap version of Squid Game. Furthermore, I prevent the special entry to the next, oh, thank you. I get to play his next blood sport round. No, hard pass, maybe I'll see you later. No. Just another day of the bourgeoisie exploiting <laughs> the working class. For they proceed to the next battle, alas, mind thee well, weapons and charms have near, okay, get out of here. No, I don't want you, I'm done with you. I'm done acting as a dancing monkey for your blood sport. I am not here for your entertainment. Uh, Gnome Way Out. Glumstone the Giant in Gnome Way Out. Okay, let's see this. Okay, so I parry by dashing. Uh, and I have a double jump. I gotta just remember that. Okay. Cool. Okay, so you got guys coming off the side. Geese. Hit that. Okay. I hit Yes, sir. Oh, 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 okay, parry by dashing. Ooh, ooh, the parry by dashing is okay. okay. Oh, okay, okay. There's a lot going on. There, oh, there's uh huh. Okay. Oh, jeez, there's the. There's a lot going on. Okay. Um. Ha! You thought you were bold, but I am bolder. Badoom ching. <laughs> okay, so you can't touch the ground much, because then they pop up. You have these guys. Okay, I can I can blow him up. I duck for the keys. Kill him. We got these guys shooting gold. I don't love that. I don't love the gold guys. Okay. So it looks like. Uh huh. Okay. His beard is okay. wrapping under these platforms. Yeah, he his that's it's it's a cool design aesthetic, right? His oh, hello. Is he a mountain? Or he a gnome? Is he a? I don't know. Uh, he is he is simultaneously both mountain and gnome. It, it would seem to suggest, right? Is that, that what I'm is that what I'm reading correctly here? Oh. I think so. Okay, watch out for these guys. Geese. Nope. Geese. Geese. Okay, watch out for these guys. Oh, hey! Oh, that's painful. <laughs> right? That, that, you don't have to hurt yourself, bud. Okay, here we go. Uh, hello. Hello, hello, poppers. Whoa! Hey, ooh, hey, hey. Okay. Hey, it's a dice guy and a devil guy. Hello, hello. Can I just stand here? Can I just stand here? I can, okay. Ooh, watch out for the poppers down there. So the thing, th so this one really just seems like your safe area is like right in the middle here. <laughs> or like right underneath him. Which, hey, I am okay with that. Hello, who hit me? Oh, he popped up underneath me. That was, that was a weird phase. That wasn't too bad. Go. Oh, classic! Classic in the stomach! Ooh, hello, hello. This is right there. Hello. Okay, hello. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm assuming I have to hit this, right, to, to survive. Otherwise, all the platforms are gonna disappear. This one isn't too bad. Oh, hello. Okay, got hit that. You have the platform to appear. Okay. After that. Hello. Please stop. Please stop, everyone. <laughs> Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, almost. Almost. We had it. Oh, we were so close. Oh, oh. It felt, yeah, I, I could tell, like, I could feel like we were getting real close there. Ah! Not bad. Not bad. I will take that. There's a lot going on. I will say, immediately, it, you can tell that there is a decided difference in the amount of stuff happening on screen, actually. Uh, this feels a lot more visually complicated and busy than a lot of the bosses were in the first, you know, the, the original game. Um, shoot, and I'm, and I'm sure a big reason for that is because of, you know, they have added budget, they have added time, you know, whatever. But I can tell that it feels like even this, like there's so much going on in the foreground that's that's kind of blocking my ability to see what's going on. 
Like there, I don't, I couldn't even tell that that guy was gonna hit me because he popped up from the bottom, but you have the foreground that's moving and I couldn't see, even though I was looking down there. So it is interesting to say that like, with added ability, you know, it's, it does feel different. It does feel a little bit different than the original game, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. And we'll see how all the bosses kind of shape up. But it is something that I'm just noticing already that the screen is just, there's a lot going on. There's a lot, lot, lot going on. Um, between the bottom, the top, you have a lot, you have a lot of moving sprites. Okay, he's gonna his beard. Cool. I think it's cool he already had band-aids on under that. Right, I mean, he, he comes, he's, a, he's a guy who comes prepared, you know? How do you Shoot. put band-aids on under your beard? It's a secret that only guys have. I, I, I would tell you, but uh, then I would have to revoke, like, my guy code. It's kind of like Secrets of the Magicians, you know? Ah. Uh, did you have band-aids under the beard thing that you had when you were in, like, London slash Paris? The, oh, absolutely. I mean, you, you always want to carry extra bandages, and that's a great place to store them. Under the beard? Uh-huh. Classic. Huh. Yeah, you it, it's, it's one of those, just a guy code thing, you know? Just like uh, how women have all sorts of weird things in their purses, guys have things under their beard. Mm. You know, gotta... Where, where else are we gonna put our stuff, you know? You know what? I mean, you have you have, ever thought about that? You we got, have pockets, though. We do have pockets. But, you know, po shoot, pockets can only hold so much. Have you, have you witnessed our pockets? <laughs> I, I have. Okay, here we go. This is, this is gonna be one of the. There you go. He's gonna bounce. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna move out of the corner at least a little bit. Okay. Because it seems. Okay. I could do dodge roll, I guess. Okay. Okay, here comes another one up top. Let's shoot over here. There you go. Good. Okay, so now we're better there. Break me down! Okay, so this one wasn't too bad. It's more just... Why does the cyst have eyebrows? Oh, okay, I say that. Why does he have eyebrows? And why are they like five flowy strands? Are those eyebrows? I think those are just... That's just hair. That doesn't make it better. Does it not? That just... No! Oh, darn it! Because I think that's just scraggly hair. It's just, it's just a cyst with a little bit of extra hair, you know. You know in, how it goes. In the tongue? Sure. Why not? In the tum. Whoa. Uh. Cysts, cysts deserve to have style too, you know. Also, I believe what you're looking at is a stomach ulcer rather than, than cyst. Let's 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 call it by the, the medically correct uh, name. Yes. I don't want us spreading any sort of medical misinformation here. I love when we spread misinformation on the internet. <laughs> Do you now? Yeah. <laughs> I, th I like to think that we- oh, come on, who hit me there? Bad call, bad call. No, I think we spread some honest information on the internet. Right, I, I, we try. We do, we do our best. Yeah. You know, we but do, we, we do better than some. It's, <laughs> it's fun to spice things up a little bit. You gotta keep people on their toes. I told you about the teacher that I had that's like, uh, who had a firm belief that every teacher should like lie to their students to encourage them to research stuff for themselves. No, you did not. Hey, think about that one. Huh. I mean, the thing about that is that, like, isn't it your job to, to tell the to truth? To tell the truth, yeah. I, that was always my problem. Is like, if, but again, like, hey, welcome to the internet where, you know, how can you believe what is true and what's not? So, I don't know. It's, she was preparing us for the internet age. I don't know. Okay. Here, I gotta focus on, you know. This, this, this scraggly, this scraggly ulcer that I'm dealing with. Oh, get out of here! Uh-oh. It's starting. Don't worry, it's fine. It has It was begun. just that we almost beat it the first time. We were so close. Like, literally, I had that beginner's luck thing. And then, all of a sudden, I'm like, I'm, I'm dying a couple times now. Okay. And, and to be fair, it's, it's Cuphead, so I, sh I should be dying. Yeah. That's, that's totally okay. I, that's acceptable to me. Right. But... To have had, to have been so close and then to have it so callously torn away, you know? Yeah. That's that's what hurts. That's what that's what hurts. Well, you know, I set this place up for success so that you could succeed. I have new fan art behind you. I have Chris behind you, looking out for you, looking over you. Oh, 
he does. He does look over. He does look out for me. Yeah. We have the phony. We have keep two. I even put a nice fluffy and soft blanket on your... Legs. Right, I was gonna say, this is... The, oh, get, who hit me there? See, I, I will say, I don't love the, these guys in the foreground that, like, really kind of clutter up my ability to see what is crawling underneath me. I like the stick. The stick? Yeah. I don't even know that they have a stick. Who has a stick? No, like, the stick that's just, like, in that front. Oh, now, he's, now well, it's gone. Polly stick. Yeah. It's been it's been consumed by the the angry giant now. Yeah, but I think that adds a oh, lot of visual interest. No, is it too much visual interest? Ah, that was my bad. That I had totally choked on that one. We can do this, Ash. No, we can do this. Woo. We had it the first time. We were so close. Oh. Bad start. Bad start. Doesn't count. The that vibes, one. That the one didn't count. Vibes have to be right. Vi yeah, that was that was bad yeah. vibes to begin with. Yeah. Bad vibes. Bad vibes. <laughs> we're we're in that down period before this. This is the time. Do you feel it? We're gonna be at this time. This is easy. Yeah. Okay. There we go. I will say, I wonder what the gnomes in this mouth are making. That's a great question. Actually, it looks like some sort of some sort of magical gas, gaseous fumes, a potion. There, maybe maybe this is all like the untold tales of like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Huh. You know, like the continuing tales of. Oh, or you know how um, Doctor Robotnik, uh, he had like. That big thing he made in the second Sonic movie that he could control, like that big. Maybe the gnomes are doing that with the snow mountain. Yeah, ma making making a giant. Yeah. Snow mountain creatures or whatever. Yeah. And they all inhabit certain parts of it. One, of, I mean, one of the things that I love actually that I'm I'm seeing for the first time is in the some of the background details as we do these transitions, like the fact that all the mountains have faces. And they're sleeping. It's, yeah, it's really really cool. It's really really cool. It looks great. And again, like that's oh, that's part of the double-edged sword, I guess, of whatever, where it's like, on one hand, I love all the additional detail. Like, yeah. these worlds are so rich and full. On the other hand, it's like, oh, but there's a, there's a lot that I have to look at in order to not die. Okay, there we go. Bye bye Go find. Hello. Oh. Come on, we got this. Okay. If you, if you wanted to die, that'd be that'd be cool. I'd be okay with that. Oh my gosh, come on. How is this not over yet? As you get to that point where it's like, I've done this for a while. That was too close. There! Whoa! I should have died there like twice at the end. I'm <laughs> Woo! All right, not not too shabby. I'll take it. Whoo, whoo! That was intense. Those are hard. That was hard. Uh, and again, I, I guess it's DLC, so this is assuming like you know, this is after you've beaten the entire game in general. So these should presumably be harder than kind of the stuff that you'd be fighting anyway. Um, oh my gosh, her little dance is so cute. Oh, got the gnome berries. You know it. Got those gnome berries. Okay, hello. Hello, little gnome guys. Oh, oh, oh hello. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, what the heck? That was uncalled for. Don't disrespect fish like that. I feel really bad for those, that, that poor halibut or whatever it was. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh. hmm. Ooh, her, I, I guess, oh, I can do the dodge roll. That's actually what I should do. I haven't been doing that. Because that last one really didn't need a dodge roll, honestly. Hmm. <laughs> Her <see>. little, <laughs> like swimming up. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here goes. And again, like I can always get upgrades and stuff. That's really funny. You know what this makes me think about? 
So I've been What's on that? this huge Animal Crossing kick lately. Okay. Um, and I'm on a roll of catching like whale sharks. Uh -huh. Love catching whale sharks. Um, and I thought about this when I was like 10-ish playing City Folk on the Wii, but how do they fit such large fish into their tiny little pockets? <laughs> I mean, it's it's the question that is plagued. I'm mistiming that clearly. Oh, yeah, real. Uh, you know, it's the question that's plagued fans of the Zelda franchise forever, right? Mm -hmm. Link. Oh, hello. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Hey, hi. Hello. What what is going on here? Oh, okay. There's a lot of moves. There's a lot of moves happening. Okay, refrigerator. Okay. Not bad. Okay. Here we go. Okay, it's gonna roll. Okay. So. Hmm. Are you still ready? Where'd pony cups go? Okay, where pony cups? Where puny? puny. <laughs> Dad, puny, puny cups go. There, thank you. <laughs> Thanks everyone. Appreciate it. Thanks everyone for their support. You're all great. Um, right, but no, that's it's it's the the constant question, right? It's the I gotta figure out how to avoid that. It's this constant uh, pocket dimension, right? Mm -hmm. Clearly, he has like a whole another multiverse or a wormhole in his pocket. That was shoot. That was always one of the questions that people would ask for uh, to, for us to cover on Game Theory. Problem is, is that like there's no real good satisfying answer to it outside of like, he's just got an alternate dimension in his pocket and the wormhole that, you know, in his pocket connects the universes or whatever. It's just kind of weird. Well, like, follow-up question. Because yeah, the Animal Crossing Villager is small. Yes. Right? Yes. Um, head large, <gasps> arms puny. Uh huh. So, but they're just out here carrying whale sharks. Yeah. So how strong does a villager have to be okay, yeah. to to carry whale shark? Oh man, now you're now you're asking for all sorts of game theory episodes. Oh hello, hello. Oh that wasn't that wasn't too bad. That was a pretty quick form actually. Hello. Like, let's imagine that they had the power to actually shrink oh, things and put them in their pockets, right? It's Aurora Bori all over for you. Boreal over for you. He tried. <laughs> right? That's, I think he did his best. <laughs> it's, 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 we've been working on this DLC for five years. This is the pun that we've come up with. <laughs> okay, let's learn about let's learn about our little snowflake friend, shall we? Okay. I like that he licks himself. Okay, so this eyeball follows me. Good to know. What's this? Okay, we got the ghost thing. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Okay, now he's upside down. That's not great. Hello. Okay, oh, ghosts explode into three. Good to know. Okay, here comes the eyeball. Okay, eyeball. I don't love the eyeball attack, gotta admit. Yeah, oh, wow, that was awesome, actually. <laughs> Woo! -hoo -hoo! Go you, man. Yeah, that was a little bit better. I feel that. That wasn't too bad. Cool! I didn't even have to figure out how to avoid the giant halibut that was being slammed onto my body. You're doing great! No problem! A minus! Take it! You know See, what? I didn't study attitude. for that test. I didn't that's study for that test. That's the attitude we need. <laughs> <laughs> so we are learning valuable lessons in the studio today. Got the icy sugar cubes! Alright, let's, let's see what our dear friend the king has to say. Ugh. I know. Ugh. I, trust me, I don't like it either, but as a completionist, I'll participate in his blood game. This is how they get you. Proceed to the battle. Okay, and we can't use weapons. So here we go. What, what you got for me, king? Okay. So I, so I can't do anything. Okay, he's... Okay, okay, he's apparently... Okay. Oh, all right. Do you want me to hit you there? Is that you telling me you want me to hit you? Or is, is, this, is that a fake, that's a fake out. It must be a fake out. Oh, hello. Hmm. What, what do you want from me, game? So clearly I have to parry off of his head, but... Okay, charge at me, no. Okay. This feels like, um... What do you want? A W for me and an L for you. Great, thanks. You read that line perfectly. Thank you. That was the correct. That was the correct. I think so. Okay. Oh, I, I hit his thing. 
So that's cool. Oh, help, ooh, help. oh, wow, he's got all sorts of moves. Nope. Okay, this is an up, up stab. This is weird. Okay, I hit him. Is this doing anything? Okay, hit him again. Nope. Did that move the needle at all? Okay, so I just got to parry a bunch of times off of him. Because I was getting closer. Weird. This is a, this is a weird one. So it's it's really just do not do not battle him. I guess I could do an invincibility roll through him. Oh, ooh, he does not telegraph that at all. Okay, there we go. This reminds me a lot of okay. So in Punch Out, right? You have uh, the character Don Flamenco, yeah. who basically eggs you on to be like, hit me, hit me, and then you try to hit him, and then he like immediately like punches you. Like that's. How but in order to move the fight forward, you have to punch him. Like, no matter how long you stall, you have to punch him, right? Okay, he's gonna be up there. There we go. Okay. Um, okay, good. Okay, we're, we're figuring out upward stab. Okay, that one you have to be really tight to do, though. But it's... So this reminds me a lot of, like, the Don Flamenco fight of, like... No, oh, see that. Oh, shoot, doesn't tell about that. And I tried to roll through it. Okay, so I mean, we're making progress, I guess. Just, just as long as he doesn't down flamenco me too many times. Upward. Okay. Upward. No, I can't do that one. Be patient, be patient, wait for him. Wait it's an him. interesting chess motif happening here. Right? Oh, what's this? That's, that's a new move. Oh. Ooh, <laughs> I'll take it, sure. I didn't deserve that, but okay. I wonder if the first course represented like pawns? Yeah, oh yeah, no, the first course was definitely pawns. Can I... Okay, this is this thing. Okay, I'll hit once. Upward. Nope, don't have enough time. Yeah, th th so this is the knight now, right? Nope. Yes. Look at this. Have I won? I feel like I've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> like, honestly. Feels like I should have won at this point. <laughs> I, I, I get it. I, I, I get you. Unless I'm doing something completely wrong here. Can we end this fight? This is really, it's really redundant. It's like, hey, do you, do you, do you like doing a boss battle, but you get to wait for an incredibly long? Shoot, I knew it! I knew it! I knew I should have double jumped that time. Oh! Oh, get out of here! Get out of here, oh. King, and your stupid game! I gotta do it one last time. I gotta do it one last time, even though this is like the most horrendously boring. <laughs> this is just weird. Okay, oh, there you go. Okay, there we go. Great, we're, at least we're starting off strong with like four hits right off the bat, so I'll take it. And I feel like the policy here should be just like jump every time in case he does the like fast one. Okay, he's gonna do it. No. No, right? Okay, upwards, and I didn't. I misread that. Nope, misread it again. This is upward, okay. There we go. There. So that's six. Nope, not doing the fast one, that's fine. Nope. Right? It's, I mean, the sound effects are fantastic. Yeah. And again, animations are so solid. Okay, there, see? Just jump every time. Okay, that's upward. Good, I can get two there, so that's eight. Nope. Oh, get out of here. Un unfair. <laughs> Just let me hit you once, man. Okay, upward. Okay, there we go. Great. That's, I don't know, 11. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> some some large number that probably... <laughs> okay. So, again, this is just odd. It's like, hey, you love doing the bosses, but do you love doing the part where you stand there and wait for them to attack you? Where you wait for them to attack you? Because have I got that for you? He's gonna charge this time. Okay. This is it. He's lined up for it. Nope. Uh -huh. Jokes on you. Oh, come on! Shoot! Don't get greedy, Matt. Don't get greedy. No. Okay. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. 
Come on, man. This, oh like, my gosh. Oh right, my this is gosh. so, this is so, I apologize to the audience watching this. We might want to cut this one short just a little bit, because this is. Yeah. Yeah. And we've won. Weird. Yay! A winner is me, I guess. <laughs> Let's see what the generous king hath in store for us today. How many cabbages? Again, on Zephyr's wings, you flew through that clash. Thy reward, wealth untold. Two. Are you serious? Wealth untold, two. Talk to the newsy! Furthermore, I permit the special entry into my next met. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Squid Game. Maybe two gold cabbages? in this game is the Cuphead Inkwell Isle equivalent of four billion won. Everyone calculates it. Here, well, at this point. He, a new challenger lies just beyond that door. I, I don't care. Screw you, man. <laughs> that last boss Seriously, battle. Seriously, That was real. lame. Boo! For your royal entertainment. Boo, right? <laughs> you can't even pay me minimum wage. Right, no minimum like, wage. Oh. It, it wasn't even a good fight. It was just no. like, stand here and wait. But it's weird. It's a weird decision. I don't know why they wouldn't have just let us attack in that one. It's I, I get that they wanted to like challenge our parrying skills, and I feel like that would be a really hard one to do as anyone other than Lady Chalice or Miss Chalice. Yeah. Um, say, young fry, I'm hot on the trail of a mystery, but I'm stumped. That contest of skill, that broken artifact, the eerie graveyard. I have discovered potent astral energy in all of these places. There must be an order and method to- oh. We're gonna have to. Oh my god. He's like, please. Go away. He's like, please come back. My network ratings are are dipping. Please. <laughs> please. No. Go go fund your own series. Seriously. Here, let's do one. We'll do what we're I don't I don't know what this one is. Uh the howling aces in dog on dog fight. Uh I don't know what this is, obviously. Uh, but we'll hop into this. I'll do it like once or twice, and then we'll see how it's going. Um Okay, I'm assuming this guy got hit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, she died. Dash. Dash. I like that I just did a whole challenge all about this dash dive, and then... And then I forget about it. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh. All right. Yeah, that poor cat. Wait, that's the cat from, um, earlier in the game, right? That's the, the cat boss. Which is really cool. I love that cat boss. One of my favorites. Okay, that was sloppy. That's, that's sloppy. Okay, watch out for the tennis balls. I don't... This one doesn't... Okay, this would be cat. Okay, that's the cat. Watch out for that. So they got the, the homing attack that like the carrot does. <laughs> I'm just gonna jump off the plane because why not? You thought you were top dog, but you never had a sniff. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Good, good. Solid dog punning right now going on. Okay, this is cat. Okay. Okay, this is here. Up, up. Up, up. Ooh, hello. Let's carry that. Hello, what's this thing in the background? I don't like that. I don't want that thing in the background too. Makes me kind of nervous. Great. Hit you a couple times. Okay, we've got two attack. Oh. The doggone flying aces. You know, in the past 72 hours. Yeah. I've cried about not having a dog twice. Really? Is this is this uh, causing you to have some some strong emotions? Hello? Like not this particular scene, but okay. I thought it was worth bringing up that I have cried actual tears about not owning a dog. Do you need to talk about that? I'm sorry. Oh no, no, it's it's fine. It's it's a little funny. I just love dogs so much. <sighs> You remind me. Did you, did you ever see that uh, that that crazy viral video where the it was it ended up being like an actress just doing it for 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 like her reel or whatever? But she was a crazy cat lady, and she's like, I just love cats so much. I and love cats. I, yeah, uh, that's yeah. yeah before the, before they auto tuned it. Oh, oh, this is cool. Hello. Wait, what's this? Okay. okay, this is awesome. Okay, okay, great. Who am I hitting here? Oh, hello. Whoa! What the- hold, hold up. Wait, uh -huh. wait, are the controls- hold up. Are the- No, the controls aren't- They aren't- Oh, jeez. Now they are flipped. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, the controls weren't- Okay, the controls weren't flipped, and now they are? And now they- Okay, what is- Okay, shoot. 
I can't figure out if the controls are flipped or not. Looks like your skills have gone AWOL, Fleabags. No, I'm just trying to figure out the control system as you rotate it. Oh, darn it. I love cats. I love every kind of cat. Well, that's why we gotta play Stray, Ash. Yes. That's and why that's why Stray is a thing that we need to consume in our lives. Yeah. So that way, we might not be able to have a dog, but we can pretend that it's a dog. Yes. For you. Thank you. Okay, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll do it that way. How's that sound? That sounds great. And I am partially satiated because um, my cat Charlie yeah. is very dog-like. When I heard that your cat Charlie was also adopting uh, a mouse. Yeah. In kind of the, the most anti-cat thing ever. So, you know. Yeah. So um, you, it sounds like you're getting yourself quite a, quite a few new animals. Oh yeah, <laughs> there's a lot. Um, for, for context, we, we had a mouse my girlfriend and I in our new apartment, um, and I named him Jeremy because it's easier for me to deal with things if I humanize them a little bit. Um, uh, including a mouse? Yeah. Like what if? It, what? And she was like, "Don't, don't name the mouse because right. you're gonna get attached to it." Right. Yeah, I was gonna say like if you if you name a mouse, I feel like you're just inviting like, "Hey, I'm gonna have to do something horrific." Because because in in very few circumstances are interactions between humans and, and mice winding up good for the human or for for the mouse, right? Yeah, but if I don't like find humor in it in some way, shape, or form, yeah, then the mouse is just gonna make me very anxious. Okay. So I was like, okay, his name's Jeremy, um, and we couldn't find him for a while, which was concerning. And then one day we wake up and we hear Charlie like meow in a lot of different ways and we're like that's unusual yeah and we go out there and he has he's he's back jeremy into a corner uh-huh um and instead of like killing the mouse uh-huh he baps it ba oh the classic the, the classic cat bap yeah i understand yeah uh -huh. he goes, Bop. yep um and just keeps doing that and the mouse <laughs> is scared out of his mind oh i'm sure so this he was mouse playing is like having a panic attack. Oh, of course. Um, doesn't know what to do. But Charlie just loves this little mouse so much. So he wasn't playing with it? He was, I mean, he was playing with it, but he wasn't playing with it for like food or anything? I don't think so. And then he picked up Jeremy by his tail yeah. and walked around with him for a while. Aww. And I was like, oh my God, like. Again, I can't tell oh. if that's really cute or like, I'm gonna eat you behavior. Yeah, no, it's, he walks a fine line. Sure. And I'm like, you know, like, Jeremy had a fun time in our kitchen, but he can't stay in the kitchen for obvious reasons. Right. Yeah, um, that, would, that would be bad. Yeah. So what we did was we had this, like, ugh, it, it's sad, but I promise there's a happy ending. Um, we had, like, a little tub, uh -huh. and we put it over him. We made a little glue trap and slid it in there. Okay. And glue traps stress me out. Yeah, I was going to say, that's, because, yeah. Like, Look, yeah. I don't like rodent when rodents invade, but I also don't like when their skin is stuck to a trap. Yeah, no, totally. So we got them in there. Uh huh. All right, you said, hold up. No, no, this is this is this is me going one more time while oh, you're telling. Okay. So so that way you can finish your story. I'll go and I I feel like this is a good place to stop, but I also want to make sure that you get a chance to finish your story. Oh, so I want to I want to finish your story. Thank you. So. We got Jeremy in the tub, in the glue trap, and I'm looking at him, and he's actually really cute. Uh -huh. Um, Because I guess I'm like that. No, no, I, I, I think mice are, like, super underappreciated. Yeah. Like, I think mice are great, actually. Like... Stephanie had a pet mouse for a little bit. Oh, gosh, they're... Like, you can tell that he has no idea where he is. Um, And I don't think he wanted to end up where he ended up. Yeah, no, of course. But of course we not. took him, and I'm wearing, like... Santa pajama pants because I just woke up. S -s Santa pajama. I, I like the the detail of Santa pajama pants. Santa pajama pants and the Ringo for President T-shirt. And <laughs> I'm driving to the park with Tamar, my uh -huh. girlfriend. And we get there, and she has a whole bottle of canola oil. Okay. We let him out because canola oil. If you have something on a glue trap. Yeah. If you pour oil on it. It will get that creature out within really? 30 seconds to like two minutes. Oh, really? So, we're pouring canola on Jeremy in the park. Because I was going to say, when you said glue trap, I'm like, oh, that poor thing, it's, 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 it's done -zo. No. Um, if you act quickly, you can get it out. Really? So, I, did, I did not know that. That's cool. Yeah. So, we go 
She pours too much canola on Jeremy. Um, and he gets out. But homie's slick. Um, he is completely drenched in canola. Um, uh -huh. but he... <laughs> so you guys, so you rescued him. Like, so you yeah. released him out into the wild. Was he okay? Was he like, hey, I, I'm sure, I'm sure he must have been like so confused. Oh, yeah. And I choose to believe he's okay. Oh, yeah. Um, like totally he was confused, but we let him out like a mile and a half away uh -huh. because otherwise he would come back. He would just come back. He'd be like, I, you know what? I, I've got to meet my best friend, that cat again. Yeah. I, I need to reunite with my bestie. He'd the ask world's trying to, the world's yeah. trying to keep us apart. They don't, they don't be appreciating that, you know, doesn't matter if you're black or white, dog or feline. We can all get along, mouse or feline. We're yeah. all together in yeah. this crazy world. Charlie love, love, Jeremy. love is love, Ash. <laughs> Don't try to keep them apart, okay? I assure you, my household is very accepting of. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Don't don't try to keep this relationship down. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, yeah, I just. That's amazing. I choose to believe that Jeremy's okay. Tamar thinks he got owned within the hour. Oh no, really? Yeah, but you know, we were both in our pajamas, my hair was a mess, and I was like, you know what? Let's go to Brugger's Bagels. <laughs> and, <laughs> and celebrate? Yeah. Celebrate a, a victorious uh, release of a wild animal. Yeah, we saved Jeremy. Um, we learned some very interesting information about our cat. <laughs> That's so funny. I, I love it when animals get along. That's so nice. <laughs> It makes me so happy. Okay, here we go. We're gonna focus on this one now here. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's one up there. Shoot. Okay. So now he's gonna flip me. Okay, so the strategy here is literally just, okay. Just really try not to move too much. There's no way I can find that one. This is gonna be low. Okay, so now we're gonna go up again. Nope, no, shoot, it did shift, it did shift. Low. Okay. Those, it's just survive almost. There. Should be safe here. Safe here, okay. You could probably parry that pink laser. Oh, that's an interesting idea. I hadn't even thought about that. But you're still right. Okay. Shoot. Oh, yellow was high. We, I got it though. So really the oh. strategy, I know. Oh, we're so, brutal, oh, brutal. Man, oh. I gotta do it last time. We, we'll, we'll beat it. This is it. How are we doing time-wise, Ash? I know we're like at time. Time-wise, we are a little over an hour. Okay. But okay. if we cut down boring section. There's no such thing as boring sections in our content. Yeah, no, totally. Okay, let's, this will be it. This will be last run and We'll get it. I will, I will do, I will, I promise I will do well. Cause this one isn't too hard. It was just more just figuring out the mechanics of, of that section. And, and I still, usually I'm not too thrown off by games when they like, you know, reverse controls and things like that. I actually, shoot, I always think it's really fun when they do that. But for some reason here, I'm not, you're not given too much time to really adjust and it's happening so fast. Okay, so this wasn't the best first round, so I have to, might be a little struggle bus to get through the end of this. Because I know I'm going to get hit at least somewhat during, yeah. the, during the laser section. But this, this section is weird. So this is like, yeah, we needed a th another phase for this, so we just decided to throw these guys in here. and kind of an, little bow -wows. Kind of an under, right? Kind of, a, kind of an underwhelming, like they're like, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a phase, I guess. Cute. Okay, here we go. Oh, shoot, I put it the wrong side. There we go. Okay, so now it's going to switch up. There we go. Okay, so. Low, high, low, low. There we go. Good. I'm going to be on stairs. No, this way. Oh, damn it, I didn't need to jump. Oh, there was the diagonal one. Ah, the diagonal one. Oh, we're so close. Last time, okay. last time, I swear. Welcome to welcome to Cuphead, ladies and gentlemen. Where I just continue to say last time, last time, last time. All right, this is it. This is big focus. If I don't do it this time, we'll just pick it up next time with me beating it and it'll be amazing and wonderful. Yeah. Okay. So, for the sake of your focus. Yes. Would you like 
me to be quiet and just be like, yeah, and support you? Or would you like another story? Uh, you know what, let's, let's, let's just, let's just be quiet and do some ambiance for this one. Okay. You and, you and me, just, just being quiet. Yeah. It, I, I think it's kind of six, six and one, shoot, six and one half dozen of the other, honestly. Like, I don't know if it would matter too much either way, because I'm fine talking to you. And especially these early phases, like, they're not too, too bad. It's more just like, you know. Well, I'm also thinking about your sanity. Oh, uh, no, I, if you think about it, right? We, I've actually been very calm throughout this. I, I expected this to be a lot more rage patty than it was. Yeah. But no, it's it's been pretty smooth sailing. That's great. You know, I'll, we've, we've bested the king. We're showing the the nobles that they can't, you know, they can't just disrespect us for their for their content game. Yes. All that good stuff. So I, I, overall, I feel like it's been a very productive uh, series of series of battles here. No, we've covered a lot of ground. Okay, here we go. So now we're going to be in the middle and we're just going to shoot up. Oh, shoot, I, that was dumb. Yeah, just, just I was afraid that by hitting her, it would actually injure me, but it did not, so. Okay, so now we're here. We're gonna go up, we're gonna go up. Here we go. Shoot, shoot, double jump. Shoot, hello. Yeah! Woo! Woo! That was cool. I, that was a really fun one. Oh, you did it, Matt. Yeah. I like how shocked you are by that. Oh, you did it. You did it. <sighs> nice. Really, I didn't get all the parries. That's fine. B. I'll take B. I'll the solid B. Passable B. Well, the, the parry, there was the pink laser I was telling you about. That's true. But parry is more, I think parry is more about like the number of parries you get in an individual battle. And I thought I'd parried more than two things, but that's fine. It's not a big deal. Hey, I will take that. Woo, take it to the bank. Oh man, next time I get to talk to the cactus friend. And we got the pineapple mint. What is it in? What? Is it in a dog bowl? It's in a dog bowl. Why is it being held by uh, metal? Right, I'm concerned about this. That is, that is a disturbing looking ingredient. What the heck? What? What, I what have, faked good are we making? I have concerns. I'm just saying right here. Uh, we're, we're making something that will allow Miss Chalice to be forever present in our world, but uh. And like, I understand that. But what is it? That was weird. That was weird. I don't know. All the other ones have made sense. That one makes me, kind of squicks me out a little bit, gotta say. I, I prefer if we just had the cookie. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is, I don't know how many long the DLC is. Maybe it's a whole new game. Uh, but that is the first couple of activities, the first four things, right? We'd be Gnome Mountain. We'd be kind of like Challenge 1 by the King. We'd be Challenge 2 by the King, which was stupid. We did, <laughs> we did the Snow <laughs> Wizard and we did the dog battle, dog fight. So I, I don't know, five things for going into in blind for a, a Cuphead battle. I'm, I'm pleased with that. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was enough progress for you. Thank you, Ash, for regaling everyone with fun, delightful stories about your pet, temporary pet mouse. Well, uh, I was focused there, yeah. Um, because I know for these sorts of games where I have to focus a lot, I, I can't be as communicative. So mm -hmm. you the best. And look, I didn't you even berate best. you the whole time. I didn't need yeah. to squeeze uh, the phony or peep it to like I'm angrily. Really, I'm pleasantly surprised. Right. I, 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 I love a hearty handshake. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. Here we go. Hearty handshake. Eh. Oh man, it's hold on. Oh, oh you're you're really you're I'll really tight in the there. It's, uh, oh, and now it's through your shirt. Oh, oh, this is bad news across the board. There you go. All that for a hearty hand here. Hearty handshake. Nice. Look, look, you can see, like, at the top, there's a little bit of that, like... Right? There's a little color there. Like, as I turn, it's like a little gradient. <laughs> a little gradient of color. It's exciting. Uh, so anyway, thank you guys for watching. I know it's a little bit late, but hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, it's Cuphead. I love Cuphead. And you know what? Whether or not you enjoy it, I'm going to continue playing it. <laughs> So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we'll see what else Inkwell Isle DLC has in store for us. But in the meantime, remember, it was just, uh, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video, a video for you. See ya!